One day, Umar ibn al-Khattab enters the house of the Prophet and he sees your beloved Prophet sleeping on the ground. Nothing between him وسلم, and the ground. Muhammad وسلم, the most honorable creation of Allah is sleeping on the ground. Nothing between him and the ground. So Umar ibn al-Khattab sees this scene. So he tells him, you know, he looks at him and he starts to cry. And the Prophet looks at him and tells him, Oh Umar, what are you crying for? So he says, Oh Messenger of Allah, I look at your condition. I look at your condition, then I remember the emperor of Rome and the emperor of Persia sleeping on the best of mattresses made out of silk and made out of the best of materials and the most comfortable materials. And you are the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah, the greatest human being sleeping on the ground and nothing between your physical body and the ground. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches Umar ibn al-Khattab a great lesson for us to be taught so we could know which path are we going on? Where is our primary target? So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells him, Ya Umar, Ala tarda bi an takuna dunya lahum wal akhirata lana? Oh Umar, don't you accept that those emperors that you just mentioned, those kings and queens, and whoever they are, don't you accept that Allah gives them this dunya in return, Allah gives us the paradise? Don't you accept? Don't you accept that they take this disgraceful dunya? Don't you accept that they take this low dunya? And Allah in return gives us the paradise that He built subhanahu wa ta'ala, that He prepared for His believers. This is the believer. This is the mu'min. The mu'min lives in this dunya for the akhirah. Does not live in this dunya for the sake of the dunya. And that's why ikhwani you find people who live in this dunya for the dunya. And there are those who live in this dunya for the akhirah. And there's big difference between the two. There's huge difference between the two. Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal was once asked. He was once asked, Oh Imam, when is that time that we're going to rest? When is that time that we're going to rest? So he says, the moment we enter the paradise. The moment we enter the paradise is that moment that we rest. Subhanallah.